Alright, I'm going to make the staff. Not the same one, one just like it. It's a walking staff. Okay, top is made of purple heart, middle is made of walnut. The other middle section is purple heart, and then the base is walnut. And in the end, it has blood wood, but I did it in grain instead of face grain or straight grain, so the color's not as brilliant as straight grain. It's backwards, it's not like in grain. Anyways, this is red oak. And we're going to start shaping it as the mid two sections. This is about 38 inches long. Sorry, I'm my own camera person, but here we go. And then I guess proper ways to use the tools too. Safety glasses, tools. And there went my beautiful staff. I hate dropping it so badly because it messes up the purple heart and i got to redo it. We'll set her down, and here we go. This is a uh, tool handle I made out of a maple limb. I left the bark because I thought it was real cool. I just took and extended some nice tools and put them in new handles. Make sure your tool rest is closed. And then when you want to get it to size, you can take out as much as, as deep as you want, as comfortable as you feel, you can go with your tool. This ain't my auger tool. This would be my auger tool, and like I said, I made the handles, but it's just sharp and different. I like to use a chisel, real sharpened. Sharpen nicely to take out most of the meat on this. I don't have one of those fancy easy wood tools, which I'd love to have, but same concept. by half the bit. Do it upside down, but the right side doesn't work as well. Right side. It does leave little splinters, you won't like them. And just move your rest to the next section. Spin it, make sure it clears. That's your view here. So again, I am sorry, I am my own tam cameraman. There we go. much of the time or you'll dull your tool down fast. I do about half or third of it and I always get a better bite this way. Maybe it's because I sharpen it different on that side. Be careful with that up just tear out a whole section. starting to get dull, we'll sharpen it. Like I said, small sections, this side works better for me. Once we get it down to round-ish, and you can see it's kind of burry looking but you get a nice sharp sharp tool and clean that up adjust your tool rest clears depending on how you hold your tool keep going till it's round I'm 
her up a little bit. Keep going. I don't have one of them fancy bring her down augers. I've made a few, but the chisel seems to work real well. And I always have a couple of chisels around. And good chisels help. Don't get me wrong, cheap chisels will get you through a quick job, but if you want a set of chisels that'll last a while, you buy a good set. Spend the money, less sharpening, cleaner cuts, you know. All the stuff about not taking the cheaper out, but I had to do it too, so. Don't have it, so we're just gonna aug it down centered, and I'll be, I'm gonna aug it down low, and then I'll be right back. Alright, this is gonna be a plain midsection. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna come in low, and then swoop out to basically two pieces to merge to another set of two pieces. Same concept as this midsection here. And Murray comes in low and it swoops out. That way it matches to the next adjacent piece. Put a little design on it. We'll put a little bit more on this one. Uh, we're going to make it similar to that shape there for a midsection. You just start in your middle. Get down to the size you want to be. Problem is, getting this long, you need a steady rest. It'll start vibrating in the center the smaller we get. So you want to take out all this big stuff before you really get much lower than that. And I kind of did it backwards, but I'm going to try to take out as much meat overall to be even before you really get lower. You go real slow so you don't vibrate it. Farther out you get, the less it'll be shake wise, vibration. Center, get it as best you can with this, with the tool as slow as you can to have a sharp tool. Takes longer, but it's less sandpapering in the end. Sandpaper is the only thing that's going to get that smooth. Remember, this is red oak, so it'll splinter really bad. A lot of tear out. The sharp tool is important. And go ahead and build the angle here. This piece here will be our end piece, but it's also going to go reversed into a chuck. So you want to leave room there. Too deep, you don't want it too thin, it's a staff, so that's about as thick as you want to go, about an inch and a half inch. Good. We'll move it down a little bit. Always turn it off, but 
I don't. Good day. Okay, we got her rough, roughed out down there, and we'll work our way down from this side slowly. Uh, I'll turn you back on when I've got the center shaped out. All right, this time, as I got it down roughly to shape and center, the outside edges got neat. This side's got more sticking out. 